with police and they tell me that a uh, suspect is now in jail after being uh, taken to the hospital this all coming to an end just a few hours ago after 16 hours but police as you uh, see here still on the scene investigating that shed back there and I step out of the way real quick and give you a look you can see that uh, garage bashed in there right now they're not telling us whether uh, the man just came out or if they had to go in but again this all coming to a peaceful end after 16 hours this all started around noon yesterday when uh, police were trying to serve several felony uh, warrants for Daniel Harris. Uh, they say that he fired shots at a bail's bondsman. No one was hurt, but he uh, barricaded himself in there and was inside. Police say they're just glad this all came to a peaceful end. Uh, now, again, crews still on the scene right now here in this shed where this uh, all came to an end after 16 hours. They're still wondering whether there were any additional weapons there other than the one that he had. We'll, of course, continue following this and provide you any updates as we get them. For now, we're live in Yukon. Back to you guys in the studio. Okay. Now, listen, Fox 25, we did some digging into the suspect's background. We found some interesting stuff. Yeah, according to court records, Daniel Harris was arrested for driving under the influence in 1998. In 2007, he was charged with child abuse. He pled guilty to that charge, and he spent nearly two years in prison. According to the Department of Corrections online records, Harris is still on probation.